Love. Come on, pretty girl. Between human and dog. Just make sure she's a healthy little puppy. Dog and human. <laughs> it's the kind that doesn't change because of life's circumstances. Good job, sweetheart. Love is there, even when money isn't. You don't find other places that are willing to actually help. They usually want a lot of money or... Yulinda Carroll just got Sarah. They won't help you. But she was worried because five dogs died from parvovirus in her transitional housing complex, hers included. I literally just had a puppy die um, from Parvo, and our family can't do another one. So she came here, where veterinarians like Dr. Ashley Ackley are gonna just get a little pokey poke. Are doing vaccines, microchips, and checkups for free. But I think there is a big judgment and stigma out there about, gosh, you need to be able to afford everything or you shouldn't have a pet. And I, I really struggle with that. The volunteers on Sunday are part of the American Veterinary Medical Association. Yeah. During their annual conference, they partnered with the Street Dog Coalition to give free care to the pets of people experiencing homelessness. All right, lady, let's get you some dewormer. It tastes like bananas, I've heard. Dr. Ackley knows how much the love is needed. Good job. In both directions. Yay! Good job! Good job! I've been through so much abuse in my life. Um, she's going to be my emotional support animal. So it's super important because she's like my other half. You know, we're all humans. We all love animals. Everybody here that brought their pets today, you know, loves them. It's easy for humans to judge. Yes, I'm grateful for you guys. But animals just feel the love. Yay, Sarah! Katie Eastman, 9 News. During each visit, the pet owners were given referrals and vouchers for further care. That way the animals can continue getting their vaccines and get spayed and neutered or whatever they, else they might need down the road. You think about how much a pet brings to a family, mm -hmm. but then you think about how expensive they are and how uh, like food, veterinary care, it all adds up. This is such a great way to give back. It is, and Street Dog Coalition does this a lot. Um, there's, there's, there is help out there for people that need to find it. Love it. Yeah. Katie, thank you. Of course.